Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you how you can make your VoiceFlow AI assistant send emails. I'm talking about assistants like this one here on my website, which currently doesn't have that functionality, but by the end of this video it will be able to do that. So for example, I will be able to say, could I please talk to a person? And from there we will have not this kind of uh, Calendly function alone, which is also quite okay, but we will have the functionality to get support from a person and then an email will be generated that's sent to me and I will be notified that I have to do something. So that's what we'll be building in this video. Now, why would you want to have your AI assistant send emails? Here are three potential reasons. The first use case is if your client you're working for doesn't have a different CRM system and when they get contacted by someone or they want hu someone wants human support from them, the easiest way for them to handle that is by getting an email in their inbox and then processing it from there and directly contacting the, their own customer or their lead via email. And that also can apply to yourself if you're building the AI assistant for your own use. Now, another very interesting use case is if the user wants to get a transcript of the conversation he just had. And that's convenient for the user, but it's also great for you because you can then collect the email and you have a contact address where you can contact them if you want to pursue them as a potential future client. Or a third potential use is if, if you have some more specialized flows and someone is required to take action, then you can also have an email sent to them and so they know that something has to be done. So these are just three potential reasons and of course there might be much more. So who is this video for? This is going to be suitable for beginners because I'll take you along step by step and uh, I'll explain it very easily so you don't need to be a programmer, although we will use a bit of code later on to implement that solution in VoiceFlow. And uh, if you're already familiar with some of the things we cover in this video, of course, feel free to just jump ahead. I'll put chapters in the description below so you can easily jump on the timeline of the video. And here are the three things we'll need to make this work. The first thing is the, your own domain, which is kind of your internet site. In my case, it's SwissAIAutomation.com and you need this to make the email service work. Then we'll set up the service itself, which is called Resend. And it's actually not very complicated. It's a very simple setup, but it needs to be done. And then the last thing is how to implement this whole thing in VoiceFlow itself to make it work. And in this video, we'll just cover the setup, how to make it work. And in my next video after this, I'll show you how to use this uh, implementation and actually capture the AI assistant conversation in a nice format and have it be sent to whoever you want. And without further ado, let's jump right in. Now, the first thing we need is to get a domain. And if you already have your own website, you also have a domain already. So you can use what you already have. That might be on Namecheap or it might be on any other service. And what you'll need to do is more or less the same, but Namecheap is the service I'm using. So I'll show you how everything works right here. And I'll set up a new account together with you so it will be easy to follow even if you have never done it. So if you're here for the first time, you'll need to sign up and you'll fill out this sign up form. Make sure you use a valid name and we click create account and continue. And now you can look for a domain that you like to use. You can use anything. Let's say in this case, I would like to have a company called Orange AI. And in this case, we see all the kind of domains that are available. You can see the more uh, obscure names are cheaper. Uh, as cheap as below one dollar per year so it's really not an expensive thing to do and so we can uh, now go and get one of them you can just click on this add to cart and go through the checkout process and after that you will have your domain in the domain list now i'm going to jump over to my own account because i'm going to set it up for my 
existing domain where I already have my website on. All right, and with that, our first step is already complete since you have your own domain. Now let's go to the second step and set up resend, which we'll use to send the emails from VoiceFlow. So you can just go to resend.com. And if you look at the pricing, it's quite attractive. You get up to 3000 emails per month for free. So when you start using this for quite some time, you won't even have to pay anything. And then after that, uh, you see it, it costs $20 per month up to 50,000 emails. So the pricing is quite reasonable here. And if you have that amount of emails, it's definitely worth it. So here as well, we'll get started. You can sign up with your own email or even with Google or GitHub if you have that. That's even easier and faster. But let's just do it the classical way with an email here. Now we verify the email, confirm the account. And now we need to do a few steps. Uh, let's here add the API key. This is just for the testing purpose. And then you have here this code. We have different formats such as Node.js, Ruby, PHP, Python, and so on. And we can just test it right here and send the email and it will send it to the domain that you just registered with. So let's click send. And as you see, I just received my first email from resend already. It's actually that easy. So now you're all set up to send emails from Resend as well. However, you now want to send them not from this uh, onboarding at resend.dev, but you want to send them from your own domain. There is a bit more work that has to be done for that. And uh, let's continue right here with add a domain for that step. And now we need to choose the name of the domain. And you might think uh, you can just use the domain that you already used for your website, but you cannot use exactly the same. So for example, I have SwissAIAutomation.com as my domain that I use for the website, but I can't use exactly that for the recent email. Or perhaps I can, but I'm also using this as a work email. So I have my email address gregor.schafroth at uh, SwissAIAutomation.com already in use. So what I'm going to do instead, and it's also recommended by Resend, is that I'm going to set up a subdomain. And you can use ChatGPT to ask what are good names for subdomains. And so in my case, I'm going to use ai.swissaiautomation.com. So I'll move over here and copy that domain. So I definitely have the right spelling. And I'll just type ai.swissaiautomation.com and I'll add it. The region doesn't really matter for our purpose and it's also the only free one available anyways. So let's go with that. And now you get all the information that you need to set this up with your domain. And uh, this is needed to make it work since uh, Recent doesn't yet actually have any access to the domain you just bought. And the way you do that is you now head back to Namecheap and here you move to your dashboard by hovering over your name and then selecting dashboard. And here you'll see your domains, which should also be the one you just purchased before. So let's click on the one you want to use. And now we go over here to advanced DNS. And what you need to do here is update these records. So Let's just do exactly what it asks us to do. For the MX record, we need to have send.ai and this AI is uh, the same as we specified for the name. So if you said you want info.url.com, then this will be send.info. So you go, you copy this, it's an MX record. So MX records are here in the mail settings and we add a new record, mx record, send.ai and we copy this value here as well. We paste it in and the priority is 10 
Uh, and in case you already have other email services like I do here, you don't want to have the same priority for different services. So I'm going to use 12 here instead. But if yours is the only email you're using so far, you're uh, free to use 10. Then you save the changes and you do the same with the other lines. Now note that the TXT lines, they are uh, pasted in a different place. So it's not the mail settings, but it's the host records here. You add a new record and you need to scroll to get the TXT record type and you'll also paste in the information just from here. I'm going to speed this up a bit uh, and see you at the other side. Once you're done with that, you can click verify DNS record here and you see it might take some time. So just wait a few minutes and try again. All right, and once you got the status verified, we are all set and ready to send emails with resend. And now we are ready to move on to step three and implement the sending of emails in VoiceFlow. So let's do that. So here on VoiceFlow, I am in a totally new project. Let's just create a very simple AI assistant that allows us to send an email if we want that. So let's have a welcome message. Hello, would you like to send an email? And then we just add a button. You can add it below here and it says send email. And so the first thing we need to do is actually enter the API key from Recent. So Recent knows that uh, we are authorized to use their service. Otherwise, anyone could just do that. And to do that, we go here to Logic and Set. And we actually want to create a new variable since we don't have that yet. And we can call it Recent API Key. And we don't need a description. We can create the value. And now we go back to recent that we have open here. And here on the left side in the menu, we can go to API keys. We can create a new API key. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to give it the same name as the domain it refers to. I'll give it full access. And I guess in the free version, recent just works for all domains and we only have one anyway, so it doesn't make a difference in this case. And uh, you see, you only get to see this once. And so here we click on this copy sign and we enter this value here. And of course, you shouldn't share this with anyone because otherwise they can just access your recent and send out a lot of emails and make you pay for it. And so here we are ready with the access for recent. And now comes the part where you need a bit of code to make this work, but don't worry, I'll take you along and show you how everything works. So what we do is we go back to recent here and here we go to the docs on the right side. And what we want to look for is the API references here and we are looking to send an email. And so here you see the body parameters that this request can take. It's a post request and all the information that we need is here on the right side. And so back in voice flow, we now go to the developer menu and we get this API option here, drag it in and we run a post request. And now we can go again to this documentation and here to see the endpoint for the post request, we actually need to go to C curl and here we have it. You see post and then this URL here, HTTPS and so forth slash emails. And we copy that in here. Then we need some headers. You can also look here. We need the authorization. We actually just copy this authorization because this is the title of the header. And then for the body part, we need bearer and you ignore this one because this is going to be your own API key. 
And so to get that in here, we set it uh, just in the step before. So we just type bearer and you use the curly braces and you type resend API key. And then we add another header. We go again to the documentation and you see it needs to be content type application JSON. So let's copy that. And lastly, we need to add a body, which will include the information about the email we want to send. We'll just add raw information here. And here we can copy this part here from the curl request, the curly braces. Make sure you don't have the uh, single quotes, but start from the curly brace open and curly brace close. And you paste that in here. And now we just update all the records that we want here. And so for the send email, you need to have the one that you actually registered with resend before. So in my case, that is ai.withaiautomation.com. Then you can send it to uh, whatever email you want. And be aware that the from is a string. It doesn't have the brackets because there is always only one from, but the two is in an array because you might potentially add several of them. So uh, that's why the format here is different, but we can just still enter only one. And so I'm going to send it to my own other email. And we can leave the text, hello world, it works. And let's try sending that request. And here we get asked to input the recent API key. And that is of course, because we are not coming through the dialogue flow, but we just start in the middle here. So instead of doing this, let me add this block right below here. And now let's also add some messages after this. So we actually know the result and I'm just going to add a message here and I'm going to call that success. And this one, I'll just call it fail. And now we are ready to test it. So let's start here. And we'll click send email. And we get a fail. So let's see what happened. So what we do in this situation is we uh, copy the key again from here and we can test it right in this block by typing send request. We enter the API key and generate. And here we get the error. So message invalid from field. The email address needs to follow the email at example.com or name blah, blah, blah format. So something is wrong with our from field. Let's take a look. Oh yes, of course, I added a website instead of an email. That won't work. So we need to uh, make an email out of this. And actually what we can add in front of the ad is totally up to us. So in my case, I'm just going to now call this info at ai.swissaiautomation.com. And now let's uh, test this again. And we have a success. So let's again do that from the flow. So we see it works in voice flow. And we click send email. And we get a success. And now you can uh, go to this to email that you typed here and check your mailbox and you'll see that you received the email. And that is how you send emails directly from voice flow. So this video concludes here where we figure out all the technical difficulties of making this work. And in my next video, I'll show you how to actually get useful content in this email, such as for example, the conversation that you have with the AI assistant before that, and even a summary of the conversation, how it went. And then of course, it's up to you how you want to use this. Let me know if you have any questions or if there is any specific use case that you'd like me to show in my next video. 
And until then, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.